Hey, and welcome to the garage today on this another rainy day here in the spring. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm just a couple of small projects here. This is the old oven that I use for powder coating parts for my old car. And uh, it has this box here on the end that's made out of cement board. The reason I had to make this thing and I just refurbished it is because some of the parts that I put in the oven to powder coat like this rim here are just too big to go in the oven. So they need to have a bit of an extension sticking out here to fit the part in there. This is just cement board that it's been screwed and taped together with aluminum, aluminum foil. And it just gives me some extra room there in the oven. So there's an example of a rim before it's powder coated. You can see it's pretty rough looking. I have to take a wire wheel to that to get all the crap off of it. And there's an example of what they look like when they're done. Beautiful. And that isn't painted, that is yellow powder coating. So it's a process where you spray little plastic particles onto the part and they stick to it with electromagnetic force. Then you pop it in the oven and the, the plastic melts right onto the part. Gives it a nice durable finish. The other thing I'm doing today is, besides cleaning up in here in general, I'm looking at these curved steel pieces here that my neighbor gave me. This is actually a part off of an old uh, treadmill. I think these were like the rails or something. And they're pretty wide. You look at that, that's like, what? Four inches there, maybe four and a half. But the cool thing about these, these pieces is they're curved. See, look at that. What I thought these would be cool for is in the backyard, I could make stands that come up like that and they're actually curved. And then I could put character heads on them, like uh, ones that I'm going to print out with my 3D printer once it comes. So what I need to do is cut the top and bottom off at an angle that will allow it to stand like that. So it's kind of going straight up. It's going to be curved like that. And then I'll have a base up here on the top, a round base that I can pop my uh, statues on. And I think that's going to look really, really neat. So that's what I'm up to today. General clean up here. Getting crap off the bench, cleaning things up, grinding this, uh, this is kind of funny, this is an old uh, carpenter square that I had. It got so caked with glue and rust that I couldn't even read the numbers anymore. Like that. So it's just taking a wire wheel to it and polishing it up. So, one thing leads to another. Keeping busy in here. Hope everybody's okay. Talk to you later. Hi Caramba, welcome to the garage today. That's a lot of soil and that's about half of what I've already dug up because what I'm doing here is widening out my driveway. I want to have a two, two car driveway so I can put my old Graham Page in the drive here with my uh, modern Hyundai. So I've been digging this out. You can see the existing driveway here. It's full of this stuff called traffic bond which is a, a mixture of gravel and crushed stone and it's deep, it's like eight inches deep down to the bed. And then I, uh, I dug out about, I don't know, 14, 15 inches there, made a trench, and I'm putting a lot of this traffic bond, the, st the dirty stuff from the top, into this trench. I'm gonna fill it up. So I'm gonna bring the level of the whole driveway down a bit, and maybe put some fresh crushed stone on the top. And then I've got to get the city to come and shave down that curb a little bit there so I can drive out on this side too. But it's coming along. I gotta order some timbers, some uh, six by sixes from Home Depot so I can build a retaining wall to hold back all that dirt there. Well, it's come along nicely. So another couple of days of backbreaking work and I'll, uh, I'll have a double driveway.